so now let's see hoisting and ddz in action okay so i have my project open here and it is running as well let me show you real quick it is running right now so now with that being said let us start testing hoisting for the variables first okay so here i will declare some variables with where hoist one equals to hoist one okay and then few other with let and const const hoist two with hoist two okay now let hoist three with hoist three so now let's log these variables before they are declared since we have declared it globally so their scope is global right now right we have learned like the scope for the let and cons is the block scope but right now they are globally declared they are not inside any scope right they are not inside any block so all these variables are globally scoped their scope scope is this global object right now so let's log this let's log this variable first to see whether this is hoisted or not and as you can see we are getting undefined here because javascript is scanned our code it caught the variable and it is stored it as a property and and it stored a default value for this variable as undefined that is why we are getting undefined when we are trying to access this variable before it is initialized okay so now let's try to do the same thing with the hoist two variables that means this one const variables and for this and this in the previous lecture we have studied like these are not hoisted because of the temporal dead zone and what will be the temporal dead zone for these two variables it will be this whole region right S since um, it is declared with const and its current scope is this global scope so the scope is starting from here and from here all the way up till here falls under the uh, temporal dead zone okay so now let's see hoist 2 and here we got an error which we have seen in the previous lecture saying cannot access hoist 2 before initialization and it is coming from line number 64 that is this line okay and let's try to do the same thing with the hoist 3 quickly to make sure it works same for let variable declaration okay so for 3 also hoist 3 also we are getting the same thing before initialization okay and now let's try to access a variable which is not even declared let's see what happens let's say let me duplicate it so that it is there for your reference let's say b okay so now we are getting b is not defined the same way uh, we have seen in the previous lecture okay so it is not giving it is not initialized it is giving b is not defined because it is scanned the javascript file and then it found there is no such variable declaration in our code so that is why javascript is sure this variable is not there and we are getting this error okay so this is about hoisting of the variables so now it's time to see some hoisting for the functions function declaration and function expression okay so let's see for the function declaration first function hoist func1 and then we will define a comma b and then we will just multiply these two values and return it return a asterisk b that is a multiplied by b okay now let's try to access it before it's initialized since it is we are returning something from here so we have to 
uh, capture the result in the console log that is why i have wrapped this function inside the console log okay we have to pass a as 2 and then 4 okay so now as you can see we are getting the actual value as 8 and why we are getting that because uh, in variable environment this whole function will get stored as a value okay this whole function will get stored as a value that is why when we are calling this function this thing is getting executed and it is working the way it should now let's see the same thing for function expressions and arrow functions this time I'm defining it by the let so now func expression hoist and then uh, we pass the same thing like say, uh, a and b let's say and we will return the same thing a multiplied by b so now if we try to access this function before uh, it is declared let's see what happens so what do you think guys will happen it will work the same way or it will throw some error let's see let's replace this thing okay great so now we are getting cannot access function expression hoist before initialization because it is declared with this let variable declaration guys right and this whole thing comes under the temporal dead zone that is why we can't access this function before it is declared so the safe place to access this function is from the same line or below the place where it is declared that means if you try to access it here then it will work just fine see you got an 8 here it is coming from line number 85 okay so all this works uh, this way so as to prevent us from getting the errors or uh, getting our logic broken right because we will see the errors right away in the console we will get the errors right away so we can uh, handle them now let's uh, see for the arrow function as well since we are discussing about the function so let's declare it with const function expression arrow let's say hoist and then here we don't need this function keyword here we can use this arrow keyword and then i think uh, since we are using this arrow keyword then we don't need this brackets at all I mean we can use this but since we have just single line of code then we don't need this right and we have seen this earlier why we don't need this so for single line this is fine right now let's try to access it before it is declared let's comment out these two okay so again we got the same thing we are trying to access something before its initialization and it is falling in the temporal dead zone so we are getting this error so now let's see guys we have seen the function expressions with the let and const but we haven't yet seen with the var variable declaration right so now let's define a variable with the var variable declaration with var okay function expression hoist and let's say var I know my function names are super random but this is just to show you the examples so please don't mind the variable names okay now let's try to access it here so before uh, logging it I just wanted to ask you guys like what do you think will happen will it work the way this one is working here right now here we are getting 8 or it will give something else 
so now let's see let's figure it out guys okay let's call this function okay so we didn't got that uh, initialization error like what we were getting in the cons and let variable declaration but this time we got something else that is function expression hoist var is not a function why it is coming guys why it is giving this error what does this error means if you think about it we have declared a function expression with var variable declaration and if you have a close look this is just a variable right this is just a variable we are assigning a function as a value for this particular variable right so that means uh, as you have seen earlier if you declare a variable with var variable declaration and if you try to access it let's reopen this one again okay if you try to access it you will get undefined right so here this is also a variable isn't it so what it is trying to do right now is it is trying to uh, access or let me show you its default value is set as undefined and we are trying to call an undefined with some parameters with some arguments like 2 and 4 so that is why we are getting something like this undefined is not a function see it is almost same as this only just the function name is not there right so it is initially set as undefined okay let me show you what we are getting uh, in this variable actually okay oh, let me comment uh, or let me remove this one real quick so you guys get a clear picture okay so now if you see in this one we are getting initially default value as undefined right and we what we were trying to do we were trying to call to uh, uh, that function with 2 and 4 as an argument so that is why we were getting a different error which was saying function expression hoist where is not even a function dude you are trying to call something which is not even a function okay so that is why we should avoid uh, declaring function expressions with var variable declaration okay so now since we have seen the var variable declarations function declarations now it's time to show you a common bug which uh, we can get into very easily so let's say uh, what we can say like let's declare a variable where is permitted equals to true okay and now we will write some logic here if is permitted is true if it is true then only log this thing you you guys are permitted to join the party or let's say weekend party weekend party okay and now okay so as you can see guys we are not getting this console log here and why is that so we have already set it as true but still we are not getting this console log we should get this right if i make it as not permitted then as you can see we are getting our console log that means it is working right opposite the way we want it to work right 
so this is some sort of errors which you guys can get into very easily if you declare a variable with where variable declaration or a beginner can easily fall into such kind of errors and he won't even get any idea like why is it working this way and the reason for this is hoisting because we have declared a variable here we have set its value as true for sure but initially we are getting undefined for this variable right so initially its value will be undefined so that is why undefined is a value which comes under falsy values so it is not executing the code for this block right that is why if it is not permitted that means we are reverting the condition if it is not true then we are getting our console log so that is why uh, the best practice to write the code is to declare all your variables at very top and then your function expressions or declarations and then use them later in your code this way uh, your code will look nice and clean as well okay and you will not uh, your code will not be error prone okay now one more thing i wanted to show you guys before wrapping up this lecture okay so we have declared a variable with where let's declare two more variables here with let and const let and const is permitted let const okay now ex let's explore the window object the global window object so to explore the global window object all you need to do is you just need to write this window and then enter here you will get the global window object where you will get all the things which you can use in javascript right in your code if you are interested in this window object then you can uh, explore it but uh, right now i just wanted to show you something which is specific to this example it will be somewhere here i think i need to find it okay so we got it here okay so we got this is permitted here but we never got this is permitted let and is permitted const if you try to see here like we don't have is permitted let and is permitted const in this window object why is that so because if we declare a variable with var variable declaration and property will get added to window object okay so now if we try to console log uh, or if you want to check its condition let's say is permitted equals to uh, window dot is permitted right so we have a property uh, with this is permitted and this is exactly the one which we have created here so if you try to log it here let's move the filter then you will get true why is that so because we have declared a variable with where and since it is declared with this variable declaration a property will get added into the window object with the same variable name okay but this is not the case with the let and const if you declare the variable with the let and const variable declarations then it won't get added into the window object let's cross verify that as well let's say is permitted let and window dot is permitted you will get false here and same will happen for the is permitted const okay so this covers the lecture for hoisting so next up we are going to learn about the this keyword so stay tuned guys see you there